So this is a uh, good little exercise for your forearm extensors. If you've got a problem with your forearm extensors, you may get conditions such as uh, tennis elbow and the like. So this is a good way of strengthening and helping treat that condition. What I'm doing is I'm using today is I'm using as my stool, which will just be any sort of normal chair. I've got a yoga block, which it could be a cushion and a exercise band, um, which equally could be uh, a, a lightweight. Yeah. So but I'm just going to use the band for this one. I quite like the band for this one. So I treat my right arm. What I'm going to do is with, with the with the band, what I've done is put a freezer bag clip, put it around one of the legs of your chairs. <coughs> Excuse me. Clip it off with a freezer bag clip. Okay. So now I've got a length a length of uh, exercise band. Then I'm going to put my right arm on the yoga block, and I'm going to keep my elbow locked, and I've got my palm facing down. I want my arm as straight as I can. Okay, and the block or the cushion just stops that bone on bone sort of. Uh, well, it just doesn't feel right. It feels more comfortable. But my wrist is off the edge. Yeah. So now with my left hand, what I can do is I can, this why I like the band, I can choose how much resistance I want. Okay. And then I'm going to grab the band. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly lower my wrist down and then bring it all the way up. And I'm going to repeat in this fashion 10 to 12 times sets of three, keeping a nice locked elbow. If I find it too difficult, yeah, what I'll do is just ease off the band a little bit. You see, it's nice and slow and controlled. If I find it too easy, what I do is I just increase the band. That's why I like the band. I can just add as much pressure as I want. What should I be feeling? Well, really what I want to be feeling, you know, you probably won't, maybe you'll get something in the first few if you have a real issue. But really, as it goes on, you should start to feel it work all the heavy side of your forearm, okay? If you're thinking about pain, you know, do you want to elicit pain? No, you want to feel the exercise. You don't want it to be painful. So if it's painful, then ease it off. If you're thinking about that kind of scale, I don't like it, but if you think of a 0 to 10, you don't want to go above a 5. You don't want to run the risk of re-rupturing any damage you've had in there. When you come up to here, I like to do a little hold, a couple of seconds, and then release it down. Okay, come up and do a little hold at the top. Yeah, and you can really feel it in there when you do that hold. And you just keep going like that, 10 to 12, three times. Uh, increase or decrease the resistance as needed. Working up to about a, a five, you know. So if you're on set three, yeah, and you and you're like, God, that's uh, that's really creeping up now. That's enough, yeah. Don't do set three. Don't re-rupture the muscle. Strengthen it. Don't injure it. Okay. Just take it easy. With all these sort of rehab things, yeah. Just take them a little bit easy. Build them up slow. Uh, don't go too hard too soon, or you're just gonna be caught in this constant cycle of re-damaging restarting from that's day one. It's boring rehab, as in it can be frustrating, it's slow, but it's better to do it slow and right rather than fast to try and get it, you know, put to bed quick and just being back to day one. Okay, that's enough lecturing from me, you're all adults. Okay, give it a go and I'm going to do another one after this, yeah, which is more isometric, which is quite good as well.